Howdy, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments. So let's talk about how wounds <clears throat> can make you mistake triumph for tragedy. So here's the thing, right? I've mentioned how I've experienced many, many different things. Falling ice brick in the back of my head, having a, a hernia 13 centimeters wide, uh, hemorrhaging eight liters of blood. Um, I don't know what else. There's been many, many other things. I just don't think about them, right? But anyway, so I tell the stories and I get amped up when I do tell the stories. It's not something that I do consistently, but when I do, I just get a light in my eyes. I used to get really upset and I used to cry and have all this PTSD and all of these things, right? However, I've healed beyond that. And so now the way that I see these moments is triumph, right? But you get the right audience, then they see it as tragedy. Oh my God, I can't believe that happened. I'm so sorry that happened. All of those things. Well, yet and still, although that might be true, like nobody wants to experience these things, you're missing the point. You're missing the bigger picture. It's about survival. It's not about, oh my God, how could that have ever happened? Because what's done is done, right? So we have the opportunity at that point to either discern whether we want to look at it as a triumph or a tragedy. And this is a great litmus test to discern and determine where you're at in terms of your healing. Because when you heal, hear, heal, hear, a tale of triumph. Are you looking at it from a victim's perspective in terms of, oh my God, how could that have happened to you? Or are you truly holding space and listening and recognizing the fact that this person, this unbelievable being that is sharing this moment with you has survived and conquered and overcome the hurdles that have been placed in front of them? So, that's the assignment. How are we viewing these moments? What are What is our takeaway? Because if you are reside yourself to sitting in that victim state, then that tells you exactly what you need to work on. Transmute those notions and understand that everything that happens does not have to be a tragedy. Find the purpose in the pain. Otherwise, it's just pain.